On the left top side of the workspace, you can find the menu bar. Here you have several groups like file, edit, tools, and so on. And under view, you can find the global UI settings and you can save or load the user configuration. It is possible to assign hotkeys. When we go to file, you can see already some hotkeys assigned. And you can also assign new ones or reassign the current ones by clicking on it, hitting a new key, and then enter. And then this key has been successfully changed. So if we now press the S button on our keyboard, the project is saved. On the left bottom side, you can find the process wheel. And this process wheel contains several workstations, like structure, loads, and so on. You can change the horizontal workstation by clicking on another one, and the vertical workstation by using the control button and clicking on the new workstation. In the middle of the process wheel, you can find the calculate button. Here we will find the input panel, and we can drag and drop it anywhere we would like in the workspace. So if we would like to attach it to the right side, we can just go to the right side. And when it becomes blue, you can just release it, and it will be put there. The property panel can be assigned as well on any location in the workspace. So if we would like to put it underneath the input panel, we can go to the panel, go to the bottom, and when it becomes blue, we can release it, and now it's fixed below the input panel. And of course, we can change the size of the panels as well, like this. In the input panel, you can find workstations, which contains in each workstation several items to model your structure. So if we use the structure workstation, we have several categories available, like the 1D members, and then we get a list with only those items. In the middle, we have the 3D scene where we can find our structure. And if we right click, we will get a context menu. If nothing is selected, this is a general uh, context menu where you can find, for example, uh, actions to create images. If you select something in the 3D scene and you use the context menu, you get specific commands for that element that you have selected. When you hover over an element, you get some tooltips. And in case that you hover over multiple elements, you can click and you get a selection box where you can select the items that you would like to select. The tooltips are also available on functionalities in the input panel. So if we hover over it, we get the name. And when we wait for a few seconds, we get additional information. We can assign a hotkey and we can go to the web help for more information on that functionality. On the right bottom side, you can find the view bar where you have some commands to zoom or to set a perspective mode. You find as well the Navicube to quickly select a certain view or to rotate or zoom into your model. And there are some options to quickly turn on or off certain items in the graphical window, like nodes, uh, supports, uh, load cases, loads, and so on. At the top in the middle, you can find the CIA Spotlight. You can activate it by clicking in it or by hitting the spacebar on your keyboard. And in the CIA Spotlight, you can find any command in CIA. So for example, if we want to find the global UI settings, we can start typing it, and he will suggest the possibilities with that name. If we want to know where to find it, you can use the Show Me button. And if a command is available, for example, in the menu bar, he will show you where you can find it. It is also possible to uh, add these functionalities to the process wheel just by dragging and dropping them, for example, in this workstation. 
So now it is attached to the workstation. If we want to delete it again, we can just drag it and move it to the container. Then at the top side, we have the project's name. We can open, multi open multiple projects at once just by clicking on the plus symbol. We go to the project manager and we can browse or start a new project. And at the right side, we can find the status bar. There we will can switch between the active load cases. We have the snapping settings, the coordinate system, some information on units. We can activate the auto refresh. We can lock results. We can activate or deactivate the grids modes and we can set some scales. We can also change the building code and the national annex. And then we still have the property panel. So when we select an item, we get the properties of it. We have two modes. We have a prime mode, which is currently visible, which will only show you certain properties of the member. And when you click on the symbol at the right top, you can go to the advanced mode and there you will have all properties of the member.